Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on the fly review for you. This is my guest star, Scarlett. I got a car guest star because Annie gets mad if I say co host. She says she is the co host. So, okay, there's that. And today I'm talking about the last film I did. Released in January. Yeah, you gonna let me do this? See, I'm talking about The Last Full Measure, direct, uh, released in January, d written and directed by uh, Todd Robinson. Uh, just listen to this cast. It's Moose stars Samuel L. Jackson, William Hurt, the late, great Peter Fonda, Ed Harris, Sebastian Stan, Alison Sudol, Alan La uh, Diane Ladd, Bradley Whitford, uh, Linus Roach, and, uh, uh, oh, and Christopher Plummer. Who's... It's Christopher Plummer. He's always great. It's a great, great, great cast. Um, the whole setup here is a true story, even though the names have been changed to protect the innocent, of, um, well, the real-life uh, pararescue jumper, William H. Uh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Pittsburgh. Uh, now... The film is about The film takes place in the year 2000 uh of a Washington lobbyist uh, a, a, a DO, DOD uh lawyer trying to uh trying to interview all these Vietnam veterans who are campaigning to get his uh Pitts Pittsburgh's Purple Heart uh elevated to a Medal of Honor, which is very difficult, apparently nearly impossible, for a uh, Air Force airman to get a Medal of Honor. I didn't even know that until I watched this. Um, now, uh, it's about the interviews, and then, of course, it's constantly cut back to uh, um, flashbacks of the Battle of Abilene, Abilene ambush in 1966 during the Vietnam War, which you tell us many times in the course of this movie, was the bloodiest day, one of the bloodiest days of the Vietnam War. Uh, now, here are the absolute facts. In April of 1966, Bill Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh was a pararescue jumper, came across, uh, they were called in for rescue of this massive ambush, huge battle, which in this movie, there's some friendly fire bombs to stick to the facts right here. What we know for sure is, during this battle, Pitts and Barger uh, 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 drops in to a shitload of dead guys and a lot of injured men. He rescues, sits, he loads up and rescues, sits uh, guys, evacuates uh, injured men, evacuates them from the area. When the bird comes back to rescue more, they take heavy fire, and they have to leave. Now, in instead of going back up to his bird, Pittsburgh waves off the uh, chopper and tells him, uh, basically because the, the, the infantrymen on the ground had lost their medic. So he stayed behind to help them. Pittsburgh did not survive the night, but 60 men or more have accredited him of saving their lives that day due to his bravery. Now, to me, that's just fascinating. That, I mean, this is this is folklore shit. This is the kind of stuff they used to write songs about. You know, what, what happened? You know, people say all the time there's no more bravery, you know, there's no more strong men, great men, no, nothing like that. Yeah, there are. There's, there's great, brave, selfless people all over the place. We don't have good storytellers anymore. Nobody wants to talk about reality. They want to make the 200th film about fucking Dracula. Oops, sorry. This, now, movie-wise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it four stars because it has strong acting and some truly powerful oh. moments. But it just whips irrationally from being, like, powerful and well done to really sappy and kind of TV vibe going. And I absolutely hate... I mean, it takes place... It's telling the wrong story. I want to hear, I would rather hear a story about just what happened, opposed to the, 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 the bureaucracy the Washington guy had to go through 
to get to do the Medal of Honor. Uh, that was a that's it's a less interesting part of the story that they're harp that they focus more in on here. Uh, oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, sleepy. I mean, she was happy before I started recording. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, but I, I I don't like and never and it reminds me a lot of the these my things I don't like about like civil rights movies where it's always about. Uh, the good white person realizing that slavery is bad, and now that they know this, they're gonna help the victimized black people be stronger. It's you know, it's a yourself kind of attitude. I don't like that, you know, that kind of sh stuff. I mean, movies like seriously, movies like Ghosts of Mississippi and The Help and The Long Walk Home, they could stick it up their ass. Sorry, but yeah, screw that. Uh, I don't like civil rights movies that are about the good white people realizing what good white people they are. You know what I mean? Anyhow, that was totally off subject. Nothing to do with this movie. I'm going to give it four stars, even though I think it's kind of a sappy production overall and a weak, predictable script. Uh, has some really good acting and some truly powerful moments. And more than, important, more than anything, the story of this guy, Pitts, absolutely has to be heard. Anyhow, hope y'all like this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to. I'm Jake Davis. I'll catch you on the fly.